Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Rupert Lowe. I represent the Brexit Party, and I was elected uh, in the European Parliament elections by real people, and I am a real person. I am a businessman, not a politician. And I've watched, like the rest of the British public, this sort of Kafka-esque negotiation that's gone on between the European Union and the British government over now, over three years. The referendum in, nine, in, in 2016 was very clear. The British people voted to leave the European Union, despite the fact that their government recommended they vote to remain. And what we've seen since then, really, is a complete frustration of the will of our people by our government. In terms of where do we sit uh, between the UK and the European Union, as a businessman, I can't see why it isn't in both parties' interests to negotiate a sensible free trade deal, particularly as the United Kingdom has a trade deficit with the European Union of something in the order of 100 billion pounds. To do anything less than entreat with each other on a responsible, sensible basis is actually letting down all of our citizens throughout the European Union, and that, that amounts to well over half a billion people. So I'm, I'm sitting here really trying to understand why two relatively sensible bodies can't reach an agreement with each other. I've listened to the arguments about the backstop. I've listened to the arguments about borders. I've listened to the arguments about tariffs, and I've just actually attended a very constructive meeting this morning with Prosperity UK, who have put forward some extremely constructive alternative arrangements which do allow for solutions to all these problems if there's a political will to achieve it on both sides. I think Mr. Verhofstadt's point about uh, U U EU citizens in the UK and UK citizens in the EU, that again is easily soluble with, with the right political will. I've come here today not just to say that, I've come because you probably saw yesterday that there was a quite extraordinary decision by our Supreme Court, uh, which went totally against the advice the government received from our Attorney General, which interestingly was redacted from their, from their judgment. And in their judgment they said as follows, a decision to prorogue or advise the monarch to prorogue will be unlawful if the pro prorogation has the effect of frustrating or pre pre preventing, without reasonable justification, the ability of Parliament to carry out its constitutional functions as a legislature and as the body responsible for the supervision of the executive. Now, <clears throat> Article 50 requires uh, an exit in line with UK constitutional requirements. Theresa May used royal prerogative on the 11th of, May, of April to extend the agreement with the EU. Now, arguably, and I put this as a question to this committee, the question really is, have we now left the European Union as a result of the judgment of our Supreme Court yesterday? It's far from clear as to whether we have or not, and I think this committee needs to analyse that. <clears throat> 